So I'm going to talk about exactly everything that is related to cybercrime, starting from the definition to the types to the problems that occur due to cybercrimes, uh, the harassment that takes place due to cybercrimes, and also the sections which help you, which are your legal aids uh, when it comes to such crimes that occur and happen to you individually. And also at the end, I'm going to explain to you the particular uh, particular website which will help you that is given by the government for your own benefit. So let's get started. Starting from the very beginning, um, as you know that we have been hit by a very big pandemic that is COVID-19, coronavirus, yes. So last year in 2020, we had seen the highest amount of um, cyber crimes taking place, where in cyber crimes, we mostly saw cyber stalking. Um, also, we saw email spoofing, we saw phishing, we saw a lot of hat hijacking taking place on the net itself uh, as we know that the internet has given us so much access and we are daily using the, in the internet for various reasons either we are checking on to websites either we are looking into our profiles or we are looking into someone else's profiles and this is how we are so easily getting access to each other and that is how we are socializing right so when we look back in 2020 uh, you'll be shocked to see the types of statistics that we have seen so far so according to the um, indian express uh, it was held that india was third given the third position and it came to cyber crimes all over the world uh, firstly uk second we have the usa and thirdly india comes into action when it where we talk about cyber crimes almost every criminal activity is usually um, emerges from our country india but uh, unfortunately cyber crimes is uh, now topping everything because every single person is online every single person is doing something or the other online so there was about 37 percent of crime um, cyber crimes going on last year and uh, more than 9,000 victims were um, attack, um, were getting attacked online. So that is one thing which uh, most of us Indians are not aware of. So let's get into the types, the common types of cyber crimes that takes place, starting from cyber stalking, web jacking, hijacking, email bombing, email fish, email uh, spoofing, phishing, virus dissemination, cross-site scripting, hacking. These are the few things uh, that uh, few types of uh, cyber crimes which you should know and I would get into the details of it just now. So it is important for you to know what exactly each of these means. So I've written it down and uh, starting from hacking. Hacking is where an intruder accesses. Intruder means any person whom you know or whom you might not know. These people may have an access to your computer or might just get into your computer through um, a system that they create and that is why they are known as hackers. These people are to be uh, always um, kept in the evil eye because they usually are the hackers not for any good purpose. They are always doing something which is against your will, something that is which is something that is not known to you, something that is with, uh, beyond your permission and um, lastly they would get all the information from you by just by hacking or getting into your computer system okay so next moving on to cross-site scripting where uh, this is where a typical uh, person would attack the or he is a hacker who would inject a web page with malicious client uh, site or script or program that means any person who is a hacker would uh, infect or inject your mail site any mail site with their own script that is where you would open that website and you would see the type of uh, client uh, sort of page where uh, you get information on certain things but that's exactly not uh, a very original website that is a hacked website and that is where you should be aware of it that usually is found in the spam zone so it's better not to click on the options without checking onto it and uh, not to really go into the matters where uh, it's very long the, the whole mail could be really long it could be scripted that is where you need to keep the viruses antiviruses um, for keeping these things apart 
the next we have virus dissemination just like i said computer programs that attack themselves or infect our system or files so this is a computer program that virus is known as a computer program uh, which will usually get into your system and would hack a particular area or a particular file and get the information and that person that hacker might get it on his own computer once he gets into your system next we have phishing or uh, or email spoofing that emails containing links to legitimate appearing websites yes we have these uh, people are actually willing to send you more than uh, 500 or 1000 mails also they'll keep on bombing you they'll keep on spoofing you and they'll have legitimate websites which usually wants to get into you, uh, on your website or sorry on your page uh, as soon as you click on to emails like every single morning when i usually turn on my uh, mail site mail page and i check on the mails and i see that there is a particular email coming all the time like regularly once in a while uh, or regularly you may say that it comes at a very high speed it usually comes 5 to 6 times and that is where you should be aware that this is where email spoofing is going on next we have email bombing or spamming as you can say obviously uh, this these are abusers who would send huge amount of emails to a target address resulting in the vict- uh, in victims email account or mail crashing yeah so we also have mail crashes where this is this might sound a bit funny because these people are intending to only send continuous amount of mails to you and that too by sending it again and again so that your whole mail system gets crashed and uh, that usually happens to a lot of people yes it does and uh, a lot of uh, enterprises and um, companies have faced such problems because their mail accounts were getting crashed because a lot of people were sending in mails continuously just to get their uh, mails crashed moving on to web jacking web jacking is also another term for hijacking uh, it takes control of website fraudulently where the person might uh, the hijacker or the hacker may uh, charge the content of original site he may get into the original site and fraudulently he would hijack it's almost similar to hacking just like just like i explained it is nothing different it is almost similar to that moving on to cyber stalking now this is one particular thing which most of us youth are aware of every single person is aware of it and uh, if i'll explain it in the layman language it is where a person is pursued or followed online that means as a woman most of us women know this or even the even the male folks but mostly as women are the most vulnerable category even online a single fake account may also get a lot of messages uh, one person might be followed online continuously uh, or if if you know that person uh, separately in real life you would want to get to know that person off uh, online and uh, if you're not able to contact that person offline you will try on to go and choose the online mode of com- communication and that is where these things start um as we know we have access to instagram we have access to facebook we have twitter we have a lot of such places like telegram um and sites um where we can usually have a conversation and that is where a person does not want to have a conversation but the opposite party the person who is um the abuser who is the criminal or who wants to get to know this person would try to you know get into the personal space and would continuously want to talk to that person by uh, cyber stalking that person either that person will send mails will uh, conti- send continuous messages from different different accounts different different places and would harass that one person uh, on a daily basis so that is where cyber stalking takes place it's not only one site or one place like instagram where these things happen there are a lot of places that one person might uh, try to get into app in your whatsapp also or on the facebook as well so this is where all these things happen and uh, yeah these are the particular things which you should know now we would talk about the sections which will help you very interestingly we have two more sections which you should very well know and that is section 292 where anyone who sells distributes obscene books pamphlets paper drawings paintings 
we know that there are a lot of people who have been doing cyber stalking apart from that if any person takes your personal things and would usually publish it online or would publish a book or would publish a pamphlet that person can be booked under section 292 of the IT act and you need to write a particular mail and send it to the particular cyber portal and that person can be booked for 2 years of imprisonment and 2000 rupees of um, extra penalty will be charged from that person that is the fine that he has to pay okay and uh, moving on to we have section 66e where intentionally capturing publishing transmitting the the image of a person any person who is uh, if you are a person who is going to a mall and you go to the sh- uh, changing room and that person captures your images or just if you are roaming outside somewhere and that person is stalking you and capturing your image and putting it somewhere that person is committing uh, a crime under this section six, section 66e of the it act and that person can be booked under this particular section and that person will be getting an imprisonment of 3 years plus 2 2 lakh rupees fine these two are optional either he could get a 3 years imprisonment or he would have to pay a 2 lakh rupees fine so i will give you the particular website that is cyberpolice c y b e r p o l i c e dot m h a at the rate gov.in this is your particular section this is your particular aid uh, you will have to if ever in life you are in trouble you will have to do this one thing is go to this mail website and uh, you will have to write a mail uh, addressing your problem to this particular mail and write down the particular section which i have al- almost uh, explained about and uh, make sure that you send it within few days you will be getting a call from the police station if you want to ad- uh, withdraw the punishment uh, or the particular um, um withdraw the particular um, you know problem that you have addressed to the police that police would usually call and ask you whether you want to uh, take further steps or not so in case you want to take back the whole uh, um complaint you would uh, definitely go and write a mail back addressing that you want to take the complaint back and this is how the whole process goes on so thank you so much for paying uh, so much attention to what i had to say and uh, definitely i hope this this will help you out in your real life as well as in virtual uh, issues and uh, if you have any problem you can contact me here uh, here is my mail id and also my number you can definitely uh, contact me and also you can um, get in touch with me any time um, so thank you so much and yes uh, and uh, also know your legal rights do not forget to always stay tuned and uh, check on the legal pages that usually are there for your own benefit that would definitely help and please 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 follow this particular channel and subscribe to it thank you